All right, thanks Mallory. More news now. Maine is taking a closer look at racism. The Bangor City Council has put together a new racial equity committee. It's expected to tackle a range of issues surrounding diversity and racial justice. News Center Maine's Alex Haskell spoke with committee members to find out what they hope to accomplish. I hope it will be able to raise awareness. A first of its kind for Bangor, the city forming a racial equity, inclusion and human rights committee. Dina Yakubaga is the committee chair. I want everyone to feel that they belong. This group is tasked with providing input on city policies in building a diverse workforce. Even though it is an advisory committee, but the creation of this committee reflects a genuine commitment by the city of Bangor to address the issues of racism and injustice. Issues she's personally faced living in Bangor for the last 14 years. I experienced some incidents of racism, so I, I know how important this committee is. These are problems even with the committee. Non-voting member and Bangor City Manager Catherine Conlow says won't completely go away. There is no silver bullet for how we address these um, systemic racist issues. But it's an opportunity, Conlow says, for the city to do better at being more accepting. Being white and, and living in, in my world, I see things that I may think are equitable and just, but may not from a different perspective. With the committee assembled, members are setting an agenda. There are three topics that are going to be discussed. Those topics include reviewing the Bangor Police Department's body camera policy, working with the Greater Bangor Housing Coalition on homelessness, and ensuring Bangor public schools are addressing racism and discrimination. I want everyone in the city to feel respected and to feel accepted. The committee's first meeting with an agenda is set for the last Friday of this month. In Bangor, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine. There are nine voting members on the committee with representation ranging from the Penobscot Nation to LGBTQ interests. There are four non-voting members on the committee as well.